Hi there, welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at Dogecoin. Dogecoin, well it is seeing quite a mixed day. If we look on the one day charts, we can see actually quite a lot of volatility. So look at this one from 12am UK time. The coin price was moving quite a lot. We actually hit highs in the day around the 9.23 range uh, in the morning of course it is, and a price range of about 5 0.64 cents so we can see a lot of movement in the day but obviously towards the end so far of the day we can see that the share well the coin price is falling currently the time is around 720 and in that time period the price has fallen back to a range here of about 5.41 cents so again we are slightly better than where we opened up in the morning but we are still quite low in comparison to what we have seen throughout the day this comes after a red week for dogecoin the price of dogecoin has been falling by quite a decent amount in the past five days and in the past month well again we are seeing another mixed message as the price of dogecoin has been all over the place from the start of the 30 day period we are slightly worse than where we started off but again not by too much now the past six month period is still up i do believe we if we can have a look at this one we can see that actually in the past six months we have still moved by a lot and we are still to the upside of course from these lows from the highs we are still creeping up on where we previously were and we were seeing strong and stable growth in the past well, few weeks but obviously now that has been killed off in the past day or so as the price has fallen by a little bit well of course nobody knows for sure what's going on but in this video i'm giving you all of my personal opinions so make sure to give it a like and of course subscribe to this channel if you haven't seen it before because we do talk about dogecoin on a pretty much daily basis and we talk about a lot of stocks as well so if that is something that you might enjoy make sure to smash that like button and that subscription button as well but yes we're going to jump into this one looking at dogecoin how it has been moving today Right, so Dogecoin in the past day, looking on the charts, as, as I have just mentioned, we are seeing quite a lot of action, but overall, not too much movement at all. If we're looking on the candlestick charts, we can see that the candlestick for Dogecoin today is actually green. The body on the candlestick isn't too big, to be honest, it's quite small, but obviously the downwards wick is quite uh, small as well, and the upwards wick is slightly taller. So we can see that the highs of the day were higher than the lows of the day, which is good, so we could be looking at another positive day going forwards into time tomorrow potentially now this comes after three consistent days of sell-off we can see quite prevalent sell-off quite uh, big bodies on the candles so obviously yesterday the candle was actually pushing towards the upside a little bit it was still in the red but again the wick was slightly higher on the upside than it was on the downside and this did bring us into a positive day today. So I think what we have seen with Dogecoin in the past two or three days isn't necessarily the worst thing in the world. I think with cryptos, with any investment, it is bound to correct at some point. I think that is what we could potentially be seeing with Dogecoin at the moment. Now, if we look to a, to a lot of the major stock indexes or indices, we can see that actually today the S&P 500 was down from 9.30 until now. It's down by about 0.17%. The Russell 2000, which is a smaller uh, index, which tracks 2000, thousand of the smallest cap stocks that's down by about seven percent now according to sorry down by about 1.2 percent according to google if we're looking over to the dow jones the dow jones is still up but again this is 30 of the largest companies so that is sort of to be expected but again it's not up by a large amount so again a lot of stocks have been falling in the past day or so i think that is noteworthy but again dogecoin is building itself back up now, we already know there is a lot of hype around Dogecoin. That's just common knowledge. I think the future of Dogecoin could still be bright. If you're looking to buy Dogecoin now, I think that this could be one of the biggest dips that we have been seeing in a while. And personally, in my opinion, I think it could be a buy at the current point. We already know that Dogecoin is very risky. I do, and I do want you to be aware of the risks. I think it is important that you are aware. And this one is not guaranteed to explode anytime soon. But of course, Elon Musk is continuously talking about Dogecoin. And this is quite a big factor in seeing the share price continue to rise. I think if Elon Musk does keep talking about this one, we could see the share price continue. And recently, Elon Musk admitted that Tesla will be taking payment in Bitcoin. Now, people are going to be saying in the comment section, well, that's Bitcoin. What's this got to do with Dogecoin? That is a fair point right now. But of course, this could be the start of Dogecoin being accepted in Tesla going forwards. Now, Bitcoin, like I have said, is the start of this. And again, perhaps other cryptos like Dogecoin could follow. We already know how bullish Elon Musk is on Dogecoin. We already know how much he wants to see this one succeed so who knows that is definitely something that he could see uh, sorry so that he could do in the future elon musk is kind of unpredictable when it comes to when he is going to talk about dogecoin and what effect it was going to have but we have seen a lot of hype from elon in the past i can see this continuing into the future 
So would I buy Dogecoin at the moment? I think it is a risky investment, as I have mentioned, but looking at price points that we have been seeing over the past few weeks, I think now is one of the better price points. Again, I would wait until at least midday tomorrow just to see if this one does move itself up a bit. And people are going to be saying, well, if you wait until midday and it was to move up, we might lose some of our gains. That is true. I definitely think that is true. But obviously, I would definitely like to see, in my opinion, at least some green or at least some more green just to confirm that we are going back up before I was to buy it. But yeah, I think that last sell-off was okay i think sometimes stocks and cryptos do sell off and that is fine i would like to say that we are back on the growth now so again quite a big upside to the candle today we will have to see if this continues onwards tomorrow and if we can hit another green day tell me your thoughts down in the comment section though i thought i'd just bring your mind in a quick video thank you see you soon